earlier for Boyden Hall, Martin Beston, Sean Kelderman, Troy Wolber, Dan Anderson, and Nathan Bernbach, four seniors, and Wolber, the lone junior in his comic lineup. Brock Valley with uh, Keith Ramshaw and Aaron Johnson along with Jason Kendrick with the guards, John Nierbeck and Jesse Lang up front. Two seniors, two sophomores, and a junior for the Rockets. And again, Rock Valley will be headed tonight by Superintendent Les Delma. And he'll be assisted tonight by Dave Mylink as the Rockets coaching staff has been suspended one game because of taping violations. So both starting lineups being introduced here. As we're looking ahead not only to this ball game, and uh, whoever comes out of here will advance to the sub-state final Saturday night, which we'll have for you on CPSB. Two more games here at Western Christian High School this week, tomorrow night. It'll be a 3A district final between Western Christian and Sheldon, which we'll have for you on CPSB. And then Friday night, the 2A substate between top rank Lawton Bronson and 10th rank Unity Christian. As that winner will move on to the Boys State Basketball Tournament in Class 2A. So the Rockets and the Comets are being introduced here. Our officials this evening are Dale Berenger from Holstein and Glenn Becker from Oldeville. We'll take a 30-second break and be back with tip-off between Boyd and Hull and Rock Valley on CPSB FM, Sea Center, Iowa. Now as the Rockets take the floor here against the Boyd and Hull Comets. Boyd and Hull coming in at 13-8 on the year. 10-8 in the Siouxland Conference, 5 for fourth with Westline and Hartley Melvin Sanborn. The Rockets of Rock Valley finishing the possession uh, position rather ahead of the Comets in third place in the Siouxland Conference at 12 and 6, 15 and 7 overall. We mentioned earlier the Comets have won five in a row. Excuse me, the Rockets have won five in a row. The Comets have won six of their last seven. So here we go. Boyden Hull will be the visiting team tonight on this Western Christian floor. They're in their road black. Rockets in their home white as we are set to go. Comets will be attacking toward the west basket here at Western Christian High School. The Rockets got the east end tonight in this first half of play. Our official, Glenn Becker, set to toss the ball. It's up, and here we go. The ball is controlled by who? It's taken by the Rockets. Ramshaw with a basketball for Rock Valley and a wing picked up by Dembeston. Down low to Lang. Kearns fires over door and balls it's good. Jesse Lang with a basket inside for Rock Valley. They're up 2-0 over Boyden Hall. So the Comets with a basketball here. Wolber up top. Left-hand dribble. Man-for-man -man defense by the Rockets. Dembeston with it up top. Guarded by Ramshaw. Left side pass to Dan Anderson. Up top to Sean Kelderman. Kelderman back to a play baseline to Anderson. Puts it up. No good. Rebound is taken by John Nierbeek. Nierbeek had the hands up inside as Anderson tried to put it in, but came away with a rebound. Rocket to the ball. Left wing. This is Johnson. Left side now to Ranshaw. Ranshaw dribbles up top. Now steps back as Dembeston puts him up top of the lane. Right side pass to Johnson. Works on Wolber in the lane. 10-footer banks off. No good. Tipped out. Controlled. But we've got a foul and a rebound called against Rock Valley's John Nierbeek. Nearby called for the shove. The 6'3 junior picks up foul number one. The ball out of bounds to Boyd and Hall with 7.02 to go in the first quarter. 2-0 in favor of Rock Valley. So here come the Comets with the basketball. Wolber on the dribble, guarded by Johnson and the Rock Valley man for man. Both teams will play man for man predominantly. Kelderman, free throw line, Anderson. Left side, Wolber, he'll fire a jumper, good. Three-pointer for Wolber. I thought he was just inside the ring. He was just beyond it. And Wolber's three gives Boyd and Hall their first lead at 3-2. Here, free throw line. And Kekrick tried to lob it inside of Mirbeek. He wasn't expecting the pass, and it sailed out of bounds. And Kekrick went up as if to shoot. Mirbeek had the box for the rebound, and the ball sailed over his shoulder and out of bounds. The Comets have it back in the Rock Valley turnover. Left side, Kelderman fakes the three. Now goes inside to Anderson. He lays it up and in. Kelderman to Dan Anderson. And the Comets up 5-2 over Rock Valley. Now the Rockets to the ball. Baseline, Ranshaw dribbles into the lanes and Mirbeek. He brings it out front to Johnson. Left side, Ranshaw. His jumper, no good. Rebound tipped out of bounds off Rock Valley. Johnson got a hand on it, but it carried out of bounds. And the Comets have it back. 5-2, Boyden Hall with the advantage with six minutes to go in the first quarter. Comet to the ball. Kelderman looking inside for Anderson. 
Now clears up top to Wolver. Robinson going in man for man. Right wing, Sheldon. Lobs underneath to Anderson. He's got it inside. Shot is blocked, but a foul in there called on Mirby. So John Mirby kicks up foul number two. Second team foul on the Rockets. And a change now for Rock Valley coming into the lineup is Mark Wolfwinkel, a 6'4 sophomore, replacing Mirbeck. So in the first two minutes, 12 seconds, Mirbeck kicks down with two fouls, and Dan Anderson will go to the free throw line for the Comets. Anderson will be shooting two here. He's averaging over 20 points a game and over 12 rebounds a contest for Boyd Hall. That free throw is good. And that makes the score 6-2 to two in favor of Boyd and Hull. Second free throw is off the heel but falls in. A straight-up carom off the back of the rim and it drops through. 7-2 Comet. Uh, here inside is a dribble down away from Vincetrich. And Kelderman had tipped the ball and Vincetrich lost it off his hands and out of bounds. So a turnover by the Rockets. And Boyd and Hull is the basketball. Rockets picking up full court now. Pass back court to Wolber. 5.40 to go in the first quarter. Rockets open with the first two of the night, but since then it's been all Rock, uh, Boyden Hall. They're up 7-2. Inside pass, Anderson, baseline, double team, clears up top to Wolver. Rockets in a matchup zone now. Inside of Anderson, puts it up, good! Anderson got it up and down over Jesse Lang. That's his second field goal. He's got six points. And it's 9-2, Boyden Hall. 5.15 to go in the first quarter. And Tetrich inside the Lang, stripped away from behind by Kelderman, but out of bounds to Rock Valley. Lang is going to put it up over Dornbach to drop the ball down low, and that was the break Kelderman needed to try to tip it away. Rockets have it inbounds, and Tetrich up top to Ranshaw. Goes to the dribble in the lane, and he's fouled by Mike, uh, Mark Dundeston. So Dundeston with foul number one. First team foul on Boyden Hall, it's out of bounds to Rock Valley. So we approach the five-minute mark remaining in our first quarter. It's 9-2 in favor of Boyden Hall. Now we've got an official timeout here as Glenn Becker will come to the scorer's table, talk something over with the officials there. I'm not sure what this is about. Becker is calling for Athletic Director Laverne Coyman to come over here. So we've got a bit of a break in the action here with an official timeout. Got some housekeeping duties apparently to take care of as official Glenn Becker has called for something. That Western Christian Athletic Director and uh, game side host Laverne Coyman is going after. So we've got a break in the action here with 5.06 left in quarter number one with a score. Boyd Mahal 9, Rock Valley 2 will take a 30 second timeout. Chances are you have a basic homeowner's policy, but with inflation, your present coverage may not. We've got some blood on the floor here, and we're going to have to take some time to get that cleared off. And that is part of the official's responsibility. The first sight of blood, you uh, stop play and get things cleaned up. In this day and age, you've got the blood-borne pathogens to worry about, so we've got somebody out on the floor now to clean things up while we have this time out. Rock Valley opened with a basket by Jesse Lang, but since then, Boyd and Hull has scored nine points in a row. They lead it nine to two here with 5.06 to go in quarter number one. Well, we've got the floor cleaned up now, and the Rockets will inbound. We see no changes for either team. The Comets still with their starting five. The only difference for the Rockets is John Mirbeck had to go out with uh, two early fouls. Here's a pass inside. Shot is up and good by Bruce and Keckerick. So when Keckerick's off the inbounds pass scores, it's 9-4, Boyd in the hole. Baseline pass it in Beston. On a wing now to Kelderman, now to Anderson. Anderson to the left of the basket, up top to Wolber. Rockets and straight up man for man. Inside pass to Anderson. Goes underneath, stripped away, taken by Van Keckerick. He's got it in the middle, and he's called for traveling. Sean Kelderman contested the dribble in the middle by Van Keckerick and caused the traveling violation. The turnover gives the ball back to Boyd in the hall. So at 4.40 to go in the first quarter. The Comets have the basketball in a 9-4 lead. Backdoor play to Anderson. Alley-oop shot is good. Anderson off the feed from Wober. Anderson with eight points. And it's 11-4, Boyd in the hall. Rockets with it on a wing. Aaron Johnson. Right side of Inkekarik. He dribbles baseline. And we got a blocking foul called on Troy Wober. Wober with foul number one. Second team foul 
on the Comets. It'll be out of bounds to Rock Valley. 418 to go in quarter number one. Aaron Johnson will play the ball in for the Rockets. Johnson to the, well, near the corner, right of the Rock Valley basket. Into Vinkekrix, he'll fire a three. It's too long, and it goes out of bounds to Boyden Hall. So the Comets have it back, leading 11 to four. We're about midway through the first quarter here at Western Christian High School in this 1A district final. Comets will have it front court. Troy Wolber on the dribble. Bounce pass up top to Dan Anderson. Anderson looking underneath. Now to Dornboss in the lane. Turns, fires, and scores. Nate Dornboss with his first two. 13 to 4, Boyden Hall. So the Comets with the early control here as we're inside four minutes to go in the first quarter. Here's Ben Kekerich. Drives into the lane. Puts it up. No good. Rebound inside. Taken by the Rockets. Shot is up. No good. But a foul called on Boyden Hall. Mark Wolfswinkel went up with a shot after pulling down that offensive board. And he will go to the free throw line to shoot two. The foul is called on Boyden Hall's Nathan Dorenboss. His first. Third team foul on the Comets. And at the line for Rock Valley will be Mark Wolfswinkel. First one is good. That is the first free throw opportunity of the night for Rock Valley. 13 to 5 is the score. And one more here for Wolfswinkel. It's up. No good. The rebound to Dan Anderson. Now the Comets have a front court. Sean Kelderman with the ball to Wolber. Rock Valley trying to overplay here. And we've got a shove called on Ranshaw. As he made contact with Troy Wolber. So for Keith Ranshaw, that's foul number one. Third team foul against the Rockets. Ball out of bounds to Boyd the Hall. 3.36 to go in the first quarter. Kelderman will play it in for the Comets. Pass up top, Dan Anderson, left wing to Kelderman. Fakes and is called for traveling as he goes to the dribble. Ball out of bounds to Rock Valley. So the Rockets get it back, trailing 13 to 5. Johnson, Ranshaw, and Kekarik, Wolfswinkel, and Lang for the Rockets. And Beston, Wolbert, Dorenboss, Anderson, and Kelderman for the Comets. Lang, free throw line, jumper, no good. Rebound tipped out, but a foul called on Rock Valley's Aaron Johnson. Johnson going over Wolbert to try to keep that ball alive. And for Aaron Johnson, that's foul number one, the fourth team foul against the Rockets. So the Comets have it back here with that 13-5 13 to 5 advantage. Wolbert will take the ball front court. Picked up there by Aaron Johnson, up top to Dan Anderson. Screen along the baseline for Kelderman. Now that Beston has it on a wing, looking for Kelderman. Now up top to Anderson. Anderson looking for Dornboss on a wing now to Wolver. Wolver up top, Kelderman left open for a three. It's no good. Rebound taken by the Rockets, and Kekrick pulled it down to Ranshaw. Rockets on the run. Ranshaw up top, drives the lane, gives it off baseline, but we've got a push before the shot. Actually, before the pass, called against the Comets. Ranshaw went up as if to shoot, instead tried to feed it off, but he was fouled by Mark Denbeston. That is two on Denbeston, ball out of bounds to the Rockets. 14 fouls apiece as Rock Valley plays it into the right of their basket. Pass and a wing to Ranshaw. Ranshaw will fire that three, it's no good. Long carom taken by Dorenbaugh. So the Comets have it still 13 to five with 2.44 left to go in the quarter. Denbeston with the ball. Guarded tightly by Ranshaw, inside pass to Anderson, turns, puts it up, it's blocked by Lang, and controlled by Wolfswinkel. Now ahead to Aaron Johnson. Johnson dribbles out of traffic, now cross-courts the ball to Van Kekrich, looking inside, now passes to Lang, overthrows, taken by Denbeston. So the Comets have it back. Wolber up top, stutter step, can't shoot, gives to Anderson. Anderson posting up, right side pass to Denbeston, he'll fire the three, that's good. Mark Denbeston is the three-pointer. The second three for the Comets tonight, and they're up 13, or excuse me, 15 to 6, with 2.02 to go in the first quarter. Rockets with the ball. Inside pass to Wolfswinkel underneath. Shot is blocked by Anderson, controlled by Kelderman. Comets down the floor underneath to Denbeston, off his ankle, but out of bounds. No, they say it's off the Rockets. I thought Denbeston might have kicked it instead. Dale Berenger along the baseline said that one of the Rockets had touched it last, so the Comets have the ball. Denbeston plays into the right of his basket. Back to Denbeston baseline. Goes inside. Puts it up. No good. And on the rebound, we got a foul called on Nathan Dornboss of Boyden Hall. So Dornboss is foul number two. Five team fouls on the Comets with 1.47 to go in the quarter. Coach Paul Walton's going to make a change now. 
as Corey Sanders, 5'11 senior, comes in, replacing Markton Beston. 147 left in quarter number one. It's 16 to 5 in favor of Boyden Hall. So the Rockets with the basketball here. Sanders is on Renshaw. Pass up top to Wolfswinkle, working on Dan Anderson. Spins, gives on a wing to Renshaw. Up top and Kekrick, swing right to Lang. Back to Kekrick, tries to save baseline to Lang. Up top to Renshaw, swing left to Johnson. He'll turn on the dribble, give it to Kekrick, baseline. Now goes into the lane, bounce pass right to Renshaw for a three, it's good. Keith Renshaw with a three. 16 to eight, with 113 to go in the quarter. Comets with the ball and an eight point lead. Dan Anderson with the ball. Now gives it a wing to Corey Sanders, back to Anderson. Now to Wolber. Kelderman will come up on a wing, take the pass, look inside for Anderson. Now he's got it, goes inside, loses in Keckrick, puts it up and good, and he's fouled. Anderson got away from Wolfswinkle inside, and Keckrick tried to help out defensively, committed a foul. But Anderson scores the basket and will get a free throw. 18 to 8, Boyd and Hull, 54.4 seconds remaining in the first quarter. And Anderson will go to the free throw line for his third attempt of the evening. He's two out of two so far tonight. Free throw is short. The rebound tipped by Dorenbach, controlled by Wolfswinkel. So the Rockets with 50 seconds left have the basketball. Here's a three left side, no good by Rock Valley's Keith Ranshaw. Rebound to the Comets. Kelderman way ahead to Sanders, goes inside, puts it up, no good. Rebound Jesse Lang. Now to Wolfwinkel. He gives the ball to uh, Johnson. 35 seconds left in the quarter. Baseline and Keckrick turns, can't shoot across the lane to Wolfwinkel, goes inside, shot is blocked by Dorenbach and taken by the Comets. Wolver front court, 22 seconds left. Right side to Kelderman for three. It's no good. Ball chased down to the corner by Ranshaw. 15 seconds left. Ranshaw down the floor. Right side of Wolfswinkel underneath. Fakes, puts it up and scores. Mark Wolfswinkel with the basket. 18 to 10, seven seconds left in the quarter. Wolver double teamed and traveled. Wolver had pulled up, was double teamed and pulled the pivot foot. Four seconds left in the quarter, and the Rockets have the basketball. Pass into Renshaw with three, two, one. Fakes puts up a three. He's fouled. No, traveling. Traveling is the call. As Renshaw maneuvering in traffic, trying to get away with that three-pointer, but pulled the pivot foot. Point two seconds left in the quarter, and the Comets will have it inbound. So Boyden Hull with the ball. Pass in to Wolber. His heave at the buzzer off the back of the rim. No good. We're finished with the first quarter of play. 18 for Boyden Hull. 10 for Rock Valley, the second quarter in one minute. Dan Anderson leading the way for the Comets with 10 of those 18 points. Nobody for Rock Valley with more than three. Ranshaw's a three-pointer. Mark Wolfswinkel has three points and a field goal and a free throw. Comets with the ball to open quarter number two. Anderson in the wing, up top to Wolber. Right side to Troy Jansma checked in late in the first quarter. Jansma up top to Kelderman. Again, Rock Valley in the Matchup zone now. Wolber with it up top. On a wing to Kelderman. Kelderman baseline. Snyder shot is blocked by Sanders. Excuse me. Shot blocked by the Rockets. Matt Dykstra checked into the quarter. Pass out front. Rolls away. Thomas have to chase it down. Back court. The call for over and back. Sanders was bottled up along the baseline. He just kind of threw it out front. And it rolled into the back court. Over and back is the call. And the Rockets have the ball. 7.28 to go in the first half. Rock Valley makes a change here. And Keckerix comes back in. He got a quarter break, replacing Aaron Johnson. Here's Ranshaw, had the ball knocked away, stolen by Anderson on the break, goes inside, puts it up and in. Anderson with a steal in the basket. He's got 12, 20 to 10, Boyd in the hole. So Rock Valley with a basketball here. Up top, Bruce and Keckerix. Right wing pass to Ranshaw, open for a three-pointer. It's good. Renshaw with his second three, 20 to 13. So the Comets with the ball, seven minutes to go first half. Left wing Anderson, three-point perimeter. Mitch Wester is also in at the quarter break for the Comets. Up top, Jansma. Right side, Kelderman. Kelderman fakes. Fakes again, can't shoot to Wolber out front for three. It's no good, but he was fouled. Wolver fouled in the act of a three-point try. Matt Dykstra picking up the foul is first. Five team fouls. 
committed by the Rockets. It'll be free throw time for Boyd in the Hull. At the line will go Troy Wolber. Wolber, 5'11", junior. Will be shooting three free throws here. Wolber tonight with a three-point basket. Misses the first of three free throws. It's a seven-point. Boyd in the Hull lead at 20 to 13. At the line for the Comets, Troy Wolber missing the first of three free throws. He'll get two more here. Six thirty-nine to go in the second quarter. Free throw by Wolber is good. Twenty-one thirteen, Boyd and Hull, and the next one is up and good. So Wolber two out of three from the line, and it's a twenty-two thirteen Boyd and Hull lead. Rockets with the ball, and Keckerix goes baseline, guarded by Kelderman out front to Ranshaw. Picked up by Wolber and the Comets man for man. Ranshaw dribbles to a wing up top and Keckerix. Right side pass goes to Wolf to Dykstra down low to Lang. Jumper good. Jesse Lang's second field goal, 22-15. Sideline pass tipped away from Kelderman. He gets it back inside to Anderson against Lang. Puts it up. No good. Rebound Jesse Lang. Now to Ranshaw. Ranshaw runs it up the sideline on the dribble. Stops for a three-pointer. It's no good. On the rebound, the ball tipped loose, taken by Ranshaw. Underneath the Wolfswinkle, turns on Anderson, puts it up, no good. Gets his own rebound, back up, good, no basket though. We've got a foul on the rebound. I believe we've got a push called against Wolfswinkle. So Mark Wolfswinkle picks up his first personal foul with a shove on the rebound, trying to pick up his own missed shot. And with 5.54 to go till halftime, that's now 17 fouls on the Rockets. The Comets will go to the free throw line and shoot the bonus. One and one opportunity for Dan Anderson here. Anderson is two of three from the free throw line. Run into the one and one is short. Chased down to the corner, out of bounds, off the Comets. It'll go to Rock Valley. So Rock Valley with Dykstra, Van Kekerix, Ranshaw, Lang, and Wolfswinkle. Boyd and Hall with Westra, Wolber. Kelderman, Jansma, and Anderson. Down low to Lang, tipped away by Kelderman, taken by Anderson. So the Comets with a steal. Front court to the basketball, Troy Wolber. Right side pass to Wester, and we've got a shove inside, called against the Comets. Troy Jansma away from the ball, called for a shove, and for Jansma, that's foul number one. 16 fouls on the Comets. Nate Dornboss back in for Boyd and Hall, replacing Troy Jansma. 5.36 to go in the first half. 22 to 15. Boyden Hall leading Rock Valley. Ranshaw with the ball. Left side pass to Dykstra. Free throw line to Lang. To Dykstra in a wing. Goes baseline on Westra. Jumper. No good. Rebound tipped. Out of bounds. Off in Keckerick. It'll go to the Comet. So Boyden Hall with a seven point advantage and the basketball here. 5.17 to go in the first half. Anderson left side for three. It's no good. Rebound Dykstra. Rockets with the ball. Midcourt pass to Ranshaw. He's down the sideline. Stops. Bounce pass inside of Lang. Turns and fires over Dornboss and scores. Jesse Lang's third field goal. 22-17 as Rock Valley pulls within five. Inside five minutes to go first half. Baseline Kelderman and he's called for traveling as he tried to dribble the ball around Rock Valley's Mark Wolfswinkle. So it's 4.53 to go in the first half. Rockets make another change. Aaron Johnson comes in for Bruce and Keckerick as Rock Valley tries to pare down a Boyden Hull advantage, which is now five points. Boyden Hull's biggest lead was 11 points, 16 to five with two minutes to go in the first quarter. Rockets with the ball. Dykstra up top to Ranshaw. Swing left to Johnson, looking baseline for Dykstra on the back door. Now Johnson goes up top, left corner to Dykstra. Dykstra, bounce pass up top to Johnson, right side pass to Renshaw, fakes on Wolber, goes in the lane underneath, puts it up, blocked out of bounds by Dornbaugh. Renshaw had the right idea. He put the shot up before he even went to his jump, seeing Dornboss coming at him, but Dornboss with that 6'8 span and those long wings is able to swat it out of bounds. Rockets with it. Inbounds pass to Wolfswinkle. Turn stripped away and stolen by Kelderman. So a double team and a steal by Sean Kelderman and the Comets have the ball, protecting a five-point lead. 
Anderson up top, right side Kelderman, back to Anderson. He'll fire that three-pointer, it's good. Dan Anderson has six field goals, one of three, and it's 25-17, Boyd in the hole. Four minutes to go first half, and a timeout called by Rock Valley. Four minutes left in the first half with a score of Boyd and Hull, 25, Rock Valley, 17, back with more from Western Christian High School in 30 seconds. Ever wondered what the word value really means? Everyone's using it lately. To the pizza ranch, it means just about everything. Like choosing our ingredients based on quality. Putting the best toppings on our pizza is never an issue. Value also means quantity. In the words of one of our customers, when you say toppings, you mean helpings. Value also means price. We know what it means to get bang for your buck. That's why we try to make our pizza the best at any price. Define value however you like, but at Pizza Ranch, it's just everyday business. Pizza Ranch in Rock Valley, Sioux Center, Orange City, and Hall. Timeout called by Rock Valley with four minutes left to go in the first half. It's a 25-17 Boyden Hall lead. The Rockets that pulls it in five at 22-17, but a three-pointer by Dan Anderson's got the Comets back up by eight. Now the Rockets have the ball. In the corner, right side, Aaron Johnson, picked up by Sean Kelderman. Up top to Renshaw. Keith Renshaw dribbles out to a wing, now near the corner. Up top, the pass to Dykstra, swing left and a wing to Johnson. Johnson looking for a screen. Now bounce pass down low to Lang. Puts it up over Dornboss. No good. Rebound to Lang. Puts it back up and in. Lang and the ball tipped back to him. And he popped it in. Lang tonight with eight. 25-19 in favor of Boyd in the hall. Thomas with the ball. Right side, Kelderman. Underneath to Wolber. Stripped away. Wolber rolls to the floor and he steps out of bounds. Actually slid out of bounds. So the Rockets have it back. John Muirbeek, who sat down early in the first quarter with two fouls, is back in for the Rockets, replacing Wolfswinkle. Also back in, Bruce and Kekerix for the Rockets, replacing Matt Dykstra. So Rock Valley with a basketball, trailing six. Ranshaw, left side of Kekerix, goes baseline. Started by Kelderman, goes into the lane, stops, fakes, out to Ranshaw. Right side, Aaron Johnson. Johnson picked up by Mitch Westra for the Comets. Now to Ranshaw. Started by Troy Wolber and that Comet man for man. Ranshaw looking inside for Lang. Now up top to Vinkekerix. He'll fire the three. It's no good. Long carom taken by Mirbeek. Now in a wing to Ranshaw. 2.45 left in the half. Still a six-point Comet lead. Ranshaw up top. Right wing to Vinkekerix. He'll go free throw line in the lane. 14-footer in and out. Rebound tipped around. Tipped out and controlled by Vinkekerix. Now his dribble tipped away by Dan Anderson out of bounds to Rock Valley. So the Rockets maintain possession of the basketball here. Two and a half to play in the first half. Here's Ranshaw driving inside. Double pump, shot no good. Rebound Dan Anderson. Comet to the ball. Ranshaw went up and tried to scoop it up. Missed the shot and the Comets have it back. Right wing Anderson up top to Kelderman looking along the baseline for Westra. Now left wing to Wolber. Up top Anderson. Anderson, right wing to Kelderman, looking down low for Dornboss, clears up top to Westro, open for a three. It's off the heel, no good. Tip, tipped again, but we got a foul on Dan Anderson of Boyd and Hull. Anderson with number one. That's now 17 fouls on the Comets, so with 1.59 to go in the first half, it'll be bonus time for Rock Valley. Going to the free throw line will be Bruce Van Kekerich. And Kekarik, 6'3", junior, excuse me, 6'1", senior, has two points tonight. He will get the one and one. With 1.59 to go in the first half, this is KTSBFM, Sioux Center, Iowa. John Slager's with you for this 1A district final between Rock Valley and Boyd and Hull. Free throw no good by Van Kekarik. Doran Boss the rebound for the Comets. So the Comets, a six-point advantage in the basketball. Anderson up top, guarded by Mirbeek. Right side, flip to... Kelderman up top to Westra, back to Kelderman in the wing. 140 to go. Kelderman guarded by Ranshaw. Now double teamed. Left side Dornbach. Baseline Westra turns, fires over Lang. No good. Rebound tip controlled by Van Kekerich. 130 to go till halftime. Ranshaw front court. Free throw line between the legs dribble. Stop. A leaner from 10 off the glass. No good. Rebound Dan Anderson. Pass ahead to Westra. Tipped out of bounds by Van Kekerich. It'll belong to the Comets. Kekerich's trying to blindside Westra that time, stripped it away. 
It'll belong to Boyden Hall. The Comets with it. Pass left side to Anderson. He'll fire a three. It's a no good. And the rebound taken by the Rockets. Aaron Johnson clears to Ranshaw. Mid-court to Vinkekarik on the break. Left side to Mirbeek. Goes inside. We've got an offensive foul on Mirbeek as he collided with Dan Anderson. Anderson took the charge, and Mirbeek, who came back just moments ago, has picked up foul number three. So Coach Les Dama will send in. Mark Wolfswinkel replacing John Mirbeek, and yes, you heard correctly, that is Coach Les Dalma tonight, as the Rock Valley coaching staff has been suspended for one game because of taping violations earlier in the tournament. Les Dalma running this ball club tonight. Right side, Kelderman, 59 seconds left in the quarter. Up top to Westra, he'll fire a three. It's no good. Long carom taken sideline by Wolfswinkel. Rockets with the ball, down by six. 50 seconds left in the first quarter. Ranshaw, left wing on the dribble, guarded by Wolber, lobbed down low to Lang, fakes baseline, turns in the lane, stripped away, a fight for the basketball, and it's a tied ball. Lang and Kelderman, the arrow points to the Rockets. So Lang has had the ball taken away from him a couple of times, and generally it's been Kelderman doubling up and forcing that loose ball. This time the Rockets in the alternate possession have the basketball. 38 seconds left in the quarter. On a wing to Ranshaw. Ranshaw with 35 seconds. Lobs down low to Lang to the left of the basket. Turns. Banker. Good. Jesse Lang with a basket inside. He's got 10, and it's a four-point ball game at 25-21. 20 seconds left to go in the first half, and the Rocket fans making some noise now. Boyd in the hole with the basketball. 15 seconds. Thomas working for one shot. Kelderman left side to Anderson with 10. Baseline pass to Wilbur in traffic. Shot is blocked. Taken by Wilbur. The pass is stolen by Ranshaw. Four seconds, three, two, Ranshaw fakes a three, no good at the buzzer. The shot just rolled out by Ranshaw, and we're at halftime. Boyden Hall leading Rock Valley 25-21 in this 1A district final. Back with a recap of first half scoring after this two-minute timeout. Yet fast starts. With